This is such a good maths challenge question. I'm going to show you how to solve it. Uh, we've got four overlapping squares with side lengths 5, 7, 9 and 11. And we want the difference between the grey shaded area and the black shaded area. A lot of people think the answer is more information needed here, but in fact it doesn't matter how big these overlaps are. So I could call this one A, this one B and this one C. And if we think about the grey shaded area, that would be this uh, area here to begin with, that would be 121 uh, minus A. So I take away that uh, A from this square that's got side length 11. I would then look at the gray shaded area here, and that would be 49 for the 7 squared, and I'd want to subtract B and C, so minus B minus C. Now for the black area, we would have the black square here is 9 squared is 81, and that one has the A and the B subtracted from it. And then I've got the black square here of 5 squared, so that would be plus 25, and I'd want to subtract the C from that one. So the difference between these, you can see they've both got A, B and C subtracted from them. So I don't need to consider those for the difference. It doesn't really matter at all. I just do 121 plus 49 to get 170 and I subtract 81 plus 25, which is 106. And that leaves me with 64. In fact, because the uh, overlap doesn't matter, you could even simplify this problem and say, if there is an answer here, you know it's just the same as if the squares didn't overlap at all. 11 squared plus 7 squared minus 9 squared plus 5 squared, and it's quite nice here that that also gives us another square number, 64, 8 squared, as the answer.